This is so stupid, this might go viral. This isn't dangerous enough. I am definitely going to have to fix this. As you know, for the most part, I try to make a video every day. Lately, I've been slacking. Well, not really, I've had a lot to do. Spring cleaning and things like that, taking care of family. Just getting the show rocking and rolling kind of thing. So to put my stresses and worries aside, I've decided to go back to the fidget spinner, try to make something happen. Before I explain exactly what I'm doing, let me assure you, do not do this at home. This is extremely stupid, I haven't done it yet, but I've seen something similar to this. I think it was from Mr. Gear. This can be sketchy slash dangerous. Don't, don't do it, please. And this is what I did. I took three pieces of paper, stuck them together, put a bolt through the fidget spinner, and I'll hook it onto my vise and I'll show you exactly what's gonna happen here. This, this fidget spinner isn't gonna go anywhere. No, I'm not doing it. Yeah, this is getting sketchy. At this point in the video, I'd like to assure my audience this video won't be entirely the fidget spinner. And for you that came specifically for the fidget spinner, th this is still gonna be awesome. So Dalton, why did you cut this to be a square? I, I wanna work smarter, not harder. And I'm thinking if I spin this fast enough and I take this razor blade and I put it here, this should cut a perfect circle for me. Sorry this leaks, but uh, basically I'm gonna Holy smokes, this is gonna work perfectly. I'm going to wear safety glasses. I might want a neck shield too. Here goes stupidity at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. I've decided I'm gonna get my face out of, out of the way. Let me kind of try to update you guys. I, I'm really excited for the future. The future's gonna get awesome. I wanna do projects and potentially build something for one of you which would be really cool, like a motorized bicycle, a motorized scooter, a brat board, something. I obviously have to work out all the details with you. Basically how I wanna do it, I put out a poll and say, okay, do you guys want a motorized bicycle? Do you want a motorized scooter? Do you want a four-wheeler? Do you want a dirt bike? Do you want a motorcycle? And then basically I buy the parts, buy whatever I need, build this thing on camera, you know, maybe take a couple days or a couple weeks or a couple months to build whatever it is, and then, give it to one of you. And instead of just shipping it with like UPS or, or if it was you know huge with like a shipping company, I personally would deliver it to one of your guys' house. So that's what the future is gonna bring. I'm really excited about that. I will work out the, all the kinks. I look forward to building something cool and then meeting one of you or maybe a few of you. Do you guys dig that idea? I think, it's, I think it's gonna be awesome. This is where it gets dangerous and this is where I'm going to put my dirt bike gloves on. I'm going to spin this thing extremely fast using my air compressor. I want to see if these pieces of paper can actually cut things. This one's a little bit more soft. I wonder if it'll go through a softer material. things using just paper that's just kind of that's kind of crazy really and no I'm not gonna be stupid enough to touch it with my finger while it's spinning but what I am going to do let me show you 
I bought this power cord. You see how the cord connects over here and the grinder's over here? Well, I don't like when I'm using the grinder or any tool and I, you know, don't have the leisure to move where I want to and then all of a sudden the cord slips. I'm going to try to resolve that today, try to make the garage a little bit more efficient. As you guys know, I have a small garage. I, I like to make things work. Buying a shop would be too easy. Well, it, it'd also be expensive. So why not just spruce this one up? Stuff like that really turns me on. Not sexually, just in life in general. The Braptastic campaign and raffle is about to be up right now. I have a few more left. If you're still interested in getting one of these, all the information will be in the description. They are Braptastic. I am not going to say the two winners of the stands just yet. I have yours pulled to the side. It's gonna be kind of like a, was it me, is it me? Because I'm sending all the letters out today. I'm going to put a note in these two envelopes. Answer it, send it back to me, we'll make you a stand. We'll also include the stands in a video, and we'll have a good time. You'll have a good time. That's taken care of there. Anyways, I am going to mention the two, four... I am, however, going to mention the winners of the lug nuts. These came off the Dirty Max. First winner is Mark Zygman from Maryland. Congratulations, Mark. Second winner is JBO from Virginia. Congratulations. Following that is Seamus from New Hampshire. Congratulations, Seamus. Logan from Virginia. I guess somebody didn't include their name. I don't have a name, but you are from Indiana. Coops Hallberg from Washington. That's a hike. And Carter and Nelson Reeks. Rex. I'm not sure how to say your last name. I hope I didn't offend you. But they won two lugs. They're, they were brothers, I guess. All the Braptastic orders will be out. I hope the postal system doesn't lose any. Thanks for all the orders. I really appreciated it. It gave my brother and sister and myself family time. We, we all tackled this together and we got the job done. We did the best we possibly could and we had fun doing it and we had a lot of laughs reading your guys' notes. So, so it was great. Thank you very much. I will send these out today. Granted, it's after the post office hours. Like I said, I want to do some sort of build or some sort of Somehow give back to you. If you have any ideas, leave in the comment section below. Thanks for all that you do. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out.